Star Motor Cable Sports presents the City Section Championships in Los Angeles. Our girls volleyball Division II final. Top ranked tap against the defending champions from Venice, the Gondoliers. In fact, it's a rematch from a year ago. Taft sailing by Grant and Fairfax to get into the final. And on the bottom side, Venice over West Adams and beating a very good Silmar team in three straight. Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Rosenbaum. This is the Professor Paul Westfall. Paul, we've seen this scenario before. The two top-ranked teams playing for the championship. Last year, Venice won in four. Well, these rematches always add a little spice to the mixture, and we've got a good one for you. Both these teams play tough non-league schedules to get themselves ready for the playoffs, and they both succeeded in getting back to the final. They played in early November, and but I don't think that match has a lot to do with everything because these two very crafty coaches probably did not show all their cards. You're talking about Alan Hunt of Venice and Armin Mercado of Taft. Kristen Shaquel is a hybrid player. She can set it. She can spike it. She does everything. She has nearly 400 kills. Well, she's a terrific all-around talent. She's a captain. She was all-city first team. It's her third year on the varsity, so she's very experienced. Besides her offensive skills, she leads the team in kills and aces, but she's an excellent defensive player as well. On the other side of the net, the opposite, Amanda Park. She is simply a brilliant all-around player. Well, she too, all-city first team. She too, a three-year varsity player. She has terrific all-around skills, and she will be a tough matchup for the opposition tonight. Got that big smile, and she smiles when she puts it down. It's the Gondoliers, the number two seeded team, but the defending champions looking to repeat against top-ranked Taft. We'll be back with the first serve of this championship match for Division II right after this on Time Warner Cable. Enjoy movies better with Time Warner Cable Movies on Demand. There's a bomb headed for London right now. 11 million people are going to lose their lives if we don't do something. Get instant access to the hottest movies and brightest stars. The computer terminal that hooks up to the TV. My name is Steve Jobs. Welcome to Apple Computer. What are you doing? I am doing whatever he asks. Watch these movies now. Whatever you're passionate about, we invent better ways to share it, get lost in it, and love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Want a Samsung Galaxy Note 8? Of course you do. Get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 when you upgrade to a qualifying Time Warner Cable package. And you can turn your Galaxy Tab into a TV with Time Warner Cable's preloaded free TV app. So you can watch TV when you want, wherever you want. But this tablet offer ends soon. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC for a variety of packages starting at $79.99 per month. But you better act fast before this tablet offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. And welcome back to the Roy Ball Learning Center for Taft and Venice, our Division II City Championship. Sayoff City Finals, it's going to be a beauty between Venice and Taft. Venice, the number two seeded team. Their starting unit is a very good one, a very experienced team. We talked about Shaquel in the pregame show, but it's not just number seven. Flynn Salas Miller, number 29, is outstanding as well. And she's a, a young lady that has a very high hitting percentage for the Venice Gondoliers. There's Shaquille and Darren Rice, number 23, a fabulous libero in the back row. There is the starting lineup. Again, uh, all city players sprinkled throughout. And again, Rice, maybe the best libero in the city of Los Angeles. There's Alan Hunt, the veteran and venerable coach of this Venice Gondolier team. Taft starting unit is a good one as well. They are led by Negan Akavon, their setter. Murray Strong in the middle, and Bosnick is outstanding on the outside. Armin Mercado is their head coach, and we are underway in the city finals. Division two. <laughs> Flynn Salas Miller with the kill. The flying Flynn. Oh, I'll tell you. If that's any indication of the hitting power of those two, first an absolute rocket off the right arm of Chappelle got returned off the scoreboard, and then Silva Thomas, or excuse me, Salas Miller with the finish. 
Gonzalez Miller hits 311. That's a very high hitting percentage. That one's off the tape and down, and a kill for Furuyama. Here are your keys, Paul. Well, for Venice, they have to stay in the system. They got to make sure that they pass, set, and kill. They got to match Taft's intensity. They will come out fired up. And for Taft, just focus on what Taft does. Don't worry about how good Venice is, because Taft is pretty good too. And then they have to serve away from the outstanding libero Rice. There is Rice. Dallas Miller tipping. Another violation against the Toreadors. Taft looks a little bit tight here in the early going. They'll settle down. This is, uh, you know, this is what you play. This is what you work so hard. This is what you practice for to get to this final. They'll be all right. That serve is wide in the first point for the Toreadors. Two teams that are highly regarded throughout the city. Both Taft and Venice have won 30 matches this year. They play a lot of tournaments. They're great in the city oh, section. Yeah. And there's an ace. Oh, yeah. Amanda Park, the lefty, with a beautifully placed serve right on the back line. And she did indeed serve it away from Rice. She's a player with great command. That serve barely missed. It's out at the point of the side out to Venice. Boy, but that didn't miss by much. Uh, I like the way she attacked that back row. Kara Wessels, 5'5", five, five outside hitter, a junior. Very consistent player for Allen Hunt. And a winner. So yep. far, Taft not able to get into system whatsoever offensively. That hit one of the guide wires up above. It's in play, but it's not returnable. And there's another ace. So Kira Wessels, who very rarely has hitting errors, is serving effectively for Venice, keeping it in play. And Taft has been handcuffed. Amanda Park goes up and she hit it out in a rocky start yeah. for top-ranked Taft. Yeah, I think if uh, if Venice gets one more, I look for Coach Mercado to call a timeout, try to slow this momentum a little bit. And Bosnick hit it long. Just a little bit too much adrenaline from the hitters. Coach Mercado just put his hands up like, what are y'all doing? Uh, he's going to let him ride out the storm. He knows it's a long match, but there's another ace. That dropped about two feet inbounds. That was obviously it. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go for it. And now they get that timeout because Venice has come out with their A game. Taft looks a little timid in the early going. And Venice is the champion from a year ago when they knocked off Taft in four sets. They lost the first set a year ago, 25-27, and stormed back 25-22, 25-21, and 27-25. Allen Hunt's team, the defending champion. It was the best match in the finals last year, and a terrific start for Venice. They don't want the intrigue of a year ago. And exactly right, and there you'll see. Look at the elevation from Salas Miller, and that's after an absolute rocket was returned off the right arm of Chacal. So Venice full of powerful hitters, but that match last year. From what I understand, Taft actually had set point in the fourth and they let it get away. So there's not a whole lot of separation between these two quality programs. Kind of surprising that Venice has come out this quickly and they lead 9-2 over the Toreadors. Couple of hitting errors from Taft. Couple of aces from Venice. That's, that's part of that seven point disparity. Russell serves. And another deep serve which has the Toreadors back on their heels. Shaquille sets to Flynn Salas Miller. And those two are tall, and they play around the net. They can set, they can spike. Two tremendous players. Yeah, when you've got that kind of versatility, when you've got that sort of all-around skills, it makes it very difficult for the defense. God, Alaire's making it look easy. Of course, they're out of the Western League. They finished second to Palisades. Taft was uh, behind the great Granada Hills team. There's a Wessels hitting error from the backcourt. And finally, the ball back to Taft. 
Well, and uh, Kira that time just tried to do way too much with a with a very uh, a non-winnable type of set. Just put it in play, live for another day. Laura Janjic, 16-year-old junior serving. That one hit the antenna. It's out. Give the point to Taft. Well, for you, I'm a mist. The gondoliers coming back to earth a little bit. They played absolutely flawless through the first about uh, 10 or 11 points. Again, Venice lost to Taft earlier at the Crescenta Valley tourney, but that was the best two out of three. This is three of five for the championship. That one's down beautifully. Hammered down by Andrea Bosnick. Part of that experienced Toreador team, both Bosnick and Park, three are varsity players. Both were all first team, all city. And this is a very free swing for the first opportunity you get in a match. That looked pretty good. Bosnick had 16 kills in the semifinal win. There's Flynn Salas Miller. Put it down. She's all state. She touches 9-9. Nine, nine. Well, and she was the D2 player of the year last year. Uh, when, when it's a question as to whether she's the best player on the team, <laughs> you've got a pretty good team. Yeah, you have some talent out there. <laughs> Her and Shaquille, between the two of them, have 600 kills. That one's down beautifully for Bosnick. Bosnick swinging very freely, very confidently, tools it off the block. Restores a little bit of order for Taft. Now if they can get some tough serving and see if they can then get Venice out of system a little bit tougher than they have so far. It's been pretty easy for Venice up to this point. The Brandy win serve. Russell's doing a nice job passing so far for the Gondoliers. Park, the deep court attack. She's got it. Amanda Park. And Taft now starting to get into system and yes. feeling better about themselves. Exactly right, and that's you only need to have a couple of, of positive swings at it to get everybody a little bit relaxed. They just looked a little tight the first eight to ten points, but they're right back in this first. Russells has been the primary passer so far for the Gondoliers. Bosnick again. Rice with the up. That one did not clear the net for Sidney Silva Thomas. And the Taft Torridors are within three. And hearing a little noise from the Taft faithful who have come in big numbers. <laughs> oh. Rice with a magnificent dig on Bosnick's drive. He's coming back to Bosnick. The deep doesn't get there. Point Venice. I like the idea after you hit an absolute thunderous swing that gets dug out. Not a bad play to try to go with the tip, but she just didn't get enough of it. Go, They're working Bosnick, but Glorious Owens along with Shaquille Roofer, there's number seven. Very nice movement from side to side by Glorious Owens that time. She anticipated the angle that Bosnick was headed for, and there's an eight. 14 to eight for the Venice Gondoliers. Good look at Glorious at the net. Very talented player for Allen Hunt. Well, just when I was going to say Taft was passing it much better than they did in the early going, then Venice serves tough and extends that lead back up to six. Yeah, Glorious is a transfer from Los Altos who came into Venice to play for Hunt's team. Bosnick tools the block, point Taft. Boy, she hits with a heavy arm swing. Yeah, and she changed her angle that time. She had gone toward the middle of the floor on the one that got stuffed that time off the outside arm tooling it perfectly there's glorious owens doing her thing in the middle there you go set those middles early everybody knows that's my favorite strategy in volleyball get them off the off the you know the the mark right away her 99th kill of the year 
and just a sophomore. That's an exciting prospect. Rather good serve. And the Gondos have served very well yeah. in this opening set. Yeah, that's been the difference, I think, in the first is that in the timeout cap. Venice has served much better than Taft has, and hence the seven-point advantage here in the middle of set number one. And the Gondoliers repel the rally of the Toreadors in this opening set. Glad you're with us on Tom Water Cable for our Division II staff. City section championship match. Alan Hunt's team has the advantage over Mercado's unit early on, but this one could have a lot of swings of momentum. Oh, no question about that. Uh, the talent level on both squads is is absolutely superb, and it's it's going to come down to execution. It's going to come down to to energy. That's what's going to separate these two teams because talent-wise, so far from what I've seen, pretty even. And Bosnick with a cross-court kill. Well, Andrea's got that big-time swing. She also has a nice off-speed shot that she added this year. They call her the Bosnian Bomber. <laughs> I love the nickname. Very nice. Mercado will talk to his team about dedication, determination, and discipline. The three Ds for the Toreadors. Park sees it come back. And Dino tips it over and scores with it. Genesis nice. Andino. Nice choice by Andino. That kind of caught the gondoliers front row by surprise, and they were forced into scramble mode, and that stops the momentary onslaught. Andino wins a lot of 50-50 plays at the net for Taft. Good serve. That one doesn't climb over, so it's another point for Venice. Venice just looks more comfortable in this first set. Yeah, they certainly look more confident. That time, uh, Taft successfully served away from Rice the libero, and it wasn't that that powerful of a swing coming out of the, the uh, offensive attack, and yet Taft couldn't do much with it. That one comes back. Shaquille and Salas Miller. The dynamic duo. I don't know if there's a Batman and a Robin in there, but we got maybe a couple Batmans because they bat everything back. I was going to say one, a, one and 1A one to be sure. That was the first attempt, the first swing for Janjic, but it came right back to her. What an obstruction that was. Darren Rice, the all-city libero. Boy, Taft having trouble getting into system. Flynn Salas Miller hit that one wide, point Taft. First hitting error of the match for Salas Miller, and she knew it immediately. She turned back to her setter and went, my bad. Ashley Akavon to serve, the libero, team's best passer, player that's growing in confidence with every match. Coach says the back row is her island. Levin serving 18. Wessels had it blocked back down. That's a beautiful job by Taft at the net. Yes. Amanda Park. Good anticipation. They read the setter early and, and beautifully because, once again, Rice with a perfect pass. That certainly looked like, like Venice was uh, in system and, and ready for another kill. Oh, another good pass. You know, serving at Rice might not be a good idea as Salas Miller pushes it through. She's just such a, a tremendous passer, Darren Rice, number 23, the libero of Venice. Great beach volleyball player, and she just knows how to play the game. And, and she just doesn't get to those serves. She makes the perfect pass, gets the setter in a position where the setter can have a number of choices. Free ball for the Gondos. And you're just not seeing that on the Taft side. Wessels reaching back, couldn't put it down. Here comes Park. Tools the block and a kill for Amanda Park. Sometimes it seems like such a simple game when you get that first good pass and the setter has a chance to decide, am I going to back set? Am I going to run a quick offense? It, it keeps the defense at bay just for that momentary second that keeps them from getting up a formidable block. Samaya with the serve. Again, there's that combination. 
setting to one another, though. This one is tipped wide, but there you saw Shaquel and Salas Miller again. They're really unstoppable. Now, they missed the shot, but yeah. they look terrific yeah. together. Exactly. They're tall. They have long arms. They're athletic. Uh, I can see how they, they play very well in concert with each other. A little bit of a run here by the Toreadors getting back into this first set. And a beautiful kill by Laura Janjic, the Croatian sensation. That's her best swing. Off the outside arm of Salas Miller, and suddenly a little life from the Toreador. Good serve. And Wessels hit it too strong. Another point for Taft. All started with the good serve, kept it away from Rice. We got a timeout. Venice for the first time in the in the match. Good comeback here by the Toreadors. Robin Mercado's team. Yeah, they've won 30 matches this year. Mercado has been in 12 championships between the boys and the girls. In fact, he's been in more than that. I only count him up. He's been in 17 finals, <laughs> counting the two. He's 5-12 and 12 overall. But uh, obviously he understands what it takes to get to championship finals and what it takes to win them. And uh, these two teams, they both prepared for this. When you look at, at Taft, most of their losses came in out-of-town tournaments. They lost a couple in Las Vegas. They lost three in the Redlands East Valley Tourney and two in the Crescenta Valley Tourney. So other than the two league matches, they lost to Granada Hills, who, who comes in, you know, their success is well chronicled. Taft is ready for the competition level it takes to win the city title. Venice's uh, girls' championship was their first last year. Taft's won a couple for Mercado in 06 and 09. And Venice last year with their first in girls. They both won boys' championships. And another point for Taft as the gondolers literally got roofed. <laughs> well, and that's the first time that Darren Rice has been a little handcuffed by a serve. Her pass a little on the errant side, and everything went south from there. 17, serving 19. Oh, that, that hard float is giving Venice some trouble. They're within one. For Yuama couldn't bring that one over the net. A great job here by Soraya Samaya. She has, th this thing's got some hard knuckle action, and they are having a hard time getting into system now. Flynn Salas Miller had it blocked. And Taft's net play has come to the forefront, and suddenly we are tied at 19. And it is basically all because Samaya's serve is giving the gondoliers all kinds of trouble. They've got to get her off the service line. Oh. That serve will get her off the service line as she hits it long. Home run. <laughs> she, I think the adrenaline caught up with her. I don't know if it's a home run, but it's definitely to the warning track. <laughs> Russell's to serve with a 2019 lead. But what an effort by Samaya to get her team right back in the thick of this first. So these coaches have championship pedigree and championship talent. And they're scrambling in this first set. That one does not clear. Sonny Wartak yeah. has come in, number two, a sophomore opposite, a lefty they really like, just a 10th grader. Oh, and they, they obviously felt confident they went right to her. Well, they feel more confident with Bosnick. Oh, setting the pipe for Bosnick, and she has a hammer of her own. Heavy heat from Ooh. Andrea Bosnick out of the deep court. Janjic will come in. She will serve. Taft down by one. I like this particular rotation for Taft. Going to 25. You got to win each set by two. Best three out of five. And the kill. Beautifully done by Sidney Silva-Thomas, the senior. The transfer from Manual Arts High School.
well placed didn't have a, a, a lot of, of speed in the arm swing but good location back row just a step slow getting to that well Sydney can be explosive in that front row Venice trying to hold off Taft at this opening set Akavon with a nice save. Indeed. Overpass straight down. Oh, net violation. That's, that's a, too bad because Bosnick had it straight down. Oh, and it's 23-20 oh, for Venice. That Take that such, point off the board. That's such a big point. But as, as you can see, she just brushed the net. And now an ace. Oh. And it's 24-20 for Flynn Salas Miller and the Gondoliers. Set point. Timeout, I think, Tap. No, just a strategic late substitution trying to perhaps ice Salas Miller just a touch. First set point for the Gondoliers. Shaquel setting Glorious Owens. Glorious Owens closes out the set 25-20. Great job by Taft to get back into it after they trailed most of the first. But Venice, like a champion, responded to that punch in the jaw and delivered one of their own to take the first. They may be ranked number two, but they are the defending champions, the Venice Gondoliers, and they hold off the Taft Toreadors in set one. Exciting volleyball on these championships on Time Warner Cable. Thursdays. Enjoy movies better with Time Warner Cable Movies on Demand. Discover DreamWorks Turbo. Oh. Ooh, that's a new one. The best animated movie of the year. Sizzle, sizzle, uh uh. He ain't slow no more. That's for sure. It's hilarious. I'm fast. What a shadow. What shadow. I can still see you. And perfect for the whole family. Why don't you pick up someone your own side? DreamWorks Turbo. Whatever you're passionate about, we invent better ways to share it, get lost in it, and love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. What can you get for $14.99? Three gallons of gas. Or freedom from your overpriced DSL service. Introducing Time Warner Cable's new everyday low-price internet. All the speed you need at an affordable price. And if you act now, you get free installation of our everyday low-price internet. It's Time Warner Cable's all-new everyday low-price internet. Now with free installation. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC before this free installation offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Second set of action in our Division II City Championship match. Venice getting that first set over Taft, 25-20. A lot of highlights, a lot of great action in set one. Well, Venice got off to a really good start because they served tough, but once Taft found their confidence, they began to swing a lot more freely, but there you see a terrific double block at the net. But then once the players like Bosnick and Park and Janjic got rolling, they got back to 20-21, to and then a very difficult point where there was a net violation against Taft, basically turned the tide. Instead of it being 21 serving 22, it wound up 23-20, and Venice was able to close out the first. But I think if you're Armin Marcato, I think you understand that your team, after a horrible start, obviously has the talent and the emotion and the mentality to stay with Venice throughout. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a quick exit for the Toreadors here in this one. Well, they're right number one. They've been the best team in the division this year as Rice puts it back in play and set two is underway. Park from the deep court. That one's in. Kind of surprised Taft didn't play there. Yeah, I, well, I think it was Park who immediately spun around and said out, but unfortunately it hit the line and just an error in judgment. Like the communication that time from Akavad of the deep court for Taft. There's a kill on the outside for Laura Janjic. And a surprising result because Taft looked a little bit uh, disorganized in the back row through most of that rally, and it really wasn't a particularly uh, good set for, for Janjic to do much with it, but she found a corner and got the point. 
Park has a lethal serve. There's a lift against Vettis. Double contact. Give the point to the Toreadors. Uh, these are such well-coached teams and such talented teams. We didn't see much of that at all in the first. Very few center line or net violations. Yeah, you have to take a second look when there's any kind of violation with these teams. Again, when you talk about Armand Mercado and Alan Hunt, you're talking about really the top of the chart when it comes to coaches in the city section. Going to get a double contact there, and we've got two unforced errors in a row against the Gondoliers after they committed none of those in the first. All city player Amanda Park serving oh. another rocket. And that one doesn't clear for Chappelle out of the deep court. It's 4-1 tap. Oh, that is a very difficult serve. With the net being lower in girls' volleyball, if you're a tall player, if you're around six feet tall, if you hit that hard float, it's coming at you with some action, and it's difficult to get a good pass. Salas Miller is dug by Akavon. Park from the deep court. Well, we have players that will swing from anywhere. <laughs> Fearless nice hitters. Nice pass by Park. That one's hit out. Murray tried for the middle and hit it long. Shaquille leads the team in aces, and they could use a bit of a run here. A lot of movement on that, sir. Indeed. Salas Miller. Nice got a piece of that. Uh, Salas Miller up on the net. Janjic again tipping. Oh, right. Hit the antenna. Yes. Point Vettis. Yes, it did. Unfortunately, nullifying a great effort by Akavon, the libero, the sophomore, with terrific hitter coverage. She came from nowhere to keep that play alive. There's that perfect serve from Shaquille. You just mentioned she leads the club in aces. Oh, I'm not sure how you can possibly be ready for that one. Down the line with movement and speed. How that's, about 98 aces this that's, year? That's unreturnable. Janjic with that roll shot. Long rally. Overpass, Flynn, Salas, Miller. When you put it up like that on an overpass with those hitters, they're going to go straight down. But it never happens without a great dive dig from Maddie Ng. She got down on the floor and kept the play alive. Maddie Ng. Uh, Defensive specialist at only 5-1, a senior wearing number 38 for Venice. And now the Gondolier stretched the lead to two. I know it's easier said than done when you're you're facing a rocket like Shaquille's serve, but they've got to move their feet. They've got to, to build a better platform. you got to get her off that service line before it gets out of hand. That was her 99th ace. Now how about 100? She has 100 aces this year. And, and those are, they're varied in their location, so it's difficult for the back row to get any kind of a reasonable pass, and we're going to get a timeout. And when you have a little separation in talent, like Venice and Taft, and you have a weapon like that, that could be the little difference that makes a major difference in this match. Yeah, well said. And, and if she doesn't take herself off the service line with a service error, she's going to be very difficult to deal with. That's that's the best serve I've seen in a while. And, I, I, you know, it's just difficult to get yourself into position. It's easy to say, well, just, you know, get over there and, and make a good pass. But the thing's got late movement like a, like a four-seam fastball. And then when you couple that with excellent placement and the miles per hour. Oh, that young lady in the center of your screen is difficult to deal with. This has been some run for Venice with Chappelle behind the line. Three aces in the match. He's up to 100 on the season. That's just a tremendous total.
And Kristen's ready to go again. Can Taft pass her serve? Glad you're with us on Tom Water Cable, our championship of Division II in the CIF City section. Amanda Park couldn't put it away. Now we have a collision at the net. Yeah. It was Shaquille that went into the net. Point Taft. But that tells you about Shaquille. She served it and she's up at the <laughs> net trying exactly, to put it away. Exactly right. And she saw what was happening before anybody else did for, for Venice. But that that this is a big moment in this particular set because Shaquille was on a run and now it's time for, for Taft's terrific server. When Samaya was in in the first, they made a significant run. They won't hear. Unless they get some help from Flynn Salas Miller, and she did. She hit yeah. it wide. That's a point for Taft. Yeah, one of the few hitting errors from Salas Miller. Yeah, Flynn Salas Miller hits 311 on the season. Shaquille hits 345. And like baseball, if you're over 300, you're a pretty good hitter. Wow, Samaya making it tough on the gondoliers. Taft trying to get back to even in this set. Down the line and in for Andrea Bosnick. She can attack from anywhere on the court. And no chance for Venice to get in the system because of the tough serve. And an easy finish for Bosnick. And a quick three in a row for Taft to get even. Wessels with a nice pass. Oh, I didn't know if that ever cleared. I guess they said it did. Now we have a center line violation against yes, Taft. Yes, and that's unfortunate. The Taft crowd behind me was in agreement with me. I wasn't sure if that went off the tape, but I guess they said it did indeed, and it was blocked back. So instead of being four touches, the point eventually winds up going Venice way. Angle winner. Oh, Sydney cut that one beautifully. Sydney Silva Thomas. Oh, an impossible angle. Nothing's impossible beach, for these stars. Yeah, a beach shot if I ever saw one. Venice by two. Park out of the deep court. She hit it out. Another point for the Gondos. Coach Mercado imploring his star. Just get on top of that a little bit more, and we're going to have Samaya substitute out. Replacing her is going to be uh, uh, Logan. Earlier today, we saw Laces win the Division Four championship in three straight games over Elizabeth. It was a wonderful match for Laces, their first girls championship in any sport. Rice tried for the dig, but give Bosnick the kill. And our Division Three final went five sets, and Eagle Rock got by Verdugo Hills 15-10 uh, in the fifth. What a great match that was. In a dramatic, thrilling uh, a match that had so many momentum swings. It was a joy to watch, and, a, and I think we might be headed for, for just that kind of drama here with this one. Akavad hit it long. The Venice Point. 11-8. Salas Miller was pretty successful in the first with her serve. <laughs> Wessels hit it long. Just a miss hit. Give the point to Taft or within two. Bosnick seems like she's uh, getting hot. The, her swings have been very authoritative. And when, when she gets a, 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 a set that's on balance, she's been pretty tough so far. Gloria's Owens and Shaquille put it right up on a platter yeah. for her. Yeah, that's, 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 that run that three and, and Owens, who has had very few opportunities, but her hitting percentage must be quite high. Just a sophomore. Oh, wow. Uh, that's, she's going to be something by the time she gets done. I don't know how to really describe the position Shaquille plays. 
Uh, all over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you list her as an opposite yeah. or a setter. I don't know what she is, but I'll tell you this. Gloria Owens is coming on for the Venice Gondoliers. Number 31 in the middle with that kill. But Shaquille plays everywhere yeah. on the floor. Yeah, and does everything well. And her, her movement is incredibly fluid. For, for a tall girl, she has great feet. Venice more active at the net. Park tries it again. Glorious Owens hit that one long, looking oh. for the corner and just missed. But just missed it. She had a touch of topspin on it, and it was diving toward the back line, but just about two inches too far. Gina Friera to serve. Gina's a 17-year-old senior who is noted for having a tough, deep serve. That's a great wall for Lara Janjic, the great wall of Croatia. <laughs> and the set really didn't give Silva Thomas too many options, and Janjic anticipated the angle perfectly. That was perfect technique on the solo block by Janjic. Taft looking to get to within one. Rice with a wonderful up. You're seeing tremendous defensive play in the deep court. Shaquille drives home a winner. Oh, that's, that's the first time she really ripped one. Yes, and she hasn't. She's been doing more setting than hitting, but that time perfectly placed in the deep corner. There's no answer for that. You're not going to be standing back there. But we can call that the big blonde bomb. Boy, she can... Hit it with great force. Kara Rose in the match for the first time, the sophomore middle for Venice. Venice trying to go up two sets to love, but that's a violation against Venice. And the Taft team right there, they're within two. Yeah, yeah, they're hanging tough. Kind of a little bit of a lull here. There's pressure on Taft. They don't want to fall down two sets. Right. Venice in a little more comfortable position. They have a scant lead and a set in hand. Best three out of five for the championship of D2. But I like the body language from Taft. They, they don't seem intimidated at all. Still alive and it's up. Here comes Park. There goes the ball straight down for Amanda Park. Oh, that lefty from the right side is such a weapon. And Taft stayed with it. It looked like it was celebration time, but Venice was able to keep it in play, and Taft stayed focused. Chance for the Toreadors to get back to even in the set with Park. Couldn't do it. She was blocked at the net. I'm so impressed, though, with Bosnick and her ability to pass. Oh, that was a very difficult uh, attempt, and yet she made a perfect pass that got them into system for Park, and, and uh, Amanda just mishit it. The net play so far is better for Venice. Yes. They've been a little stronger up front, that front line. Park again from the deep court, and she hit it out. Trying to go over that big block. Yes. That could be tough. Yes, and that's, uh, you're, you're right. That's well said because uh, the Venice block has been formidable. And so then you start to try a little too hard, try to make the perfect shot. There it is again. Coming great, back. Yes, great anticipation once again. Against a lot of West Valley League teams, that's not a ball that comes back. And Shaquille ends the rally. And Shaquille and Salas Miller up front are controlling the match for Venice. Good answer by the Gondoliers after Taft had scratched their way back to within one. You might want to go a different direction. You see the power of Shaquille tooling it off the block. But Taft has tried to get Park involved the last two or three times. Might be time to, to go a different direction. Uh, if Janjic is in this rotation, you might want to set for Lara or, or see if, if Bosnick maybe out of the back row. 
Well, I think that's an apt description of her, the big blonde bomb, because she can flat out kill that volleyball. And she's a tremendous all-around yes. player, and, and yes. she's just such a weapon because they use her in so many different ways. Yes, and that's what I'm. I'm so impressed with with the way that she she moves her feet. She obviously understands angles. Her passing has been superb. She's a terrific setter as well, and and. Uh, She's been the best player in the match so far. Yeah, we hear so much about the 6-2 with two setters on the floor, but Hunt's team is a 6-2 style of play with versatility. A lot of different wrinkles to his offense and a chance to go up another point. Salas oh. Miller is dug. Akavon with the dig. I'll tell you, that was a reaction play. Shaquel put it down. Kristen Shaquille. She's taken over this second set. Elevate with power. Another rocket from Shaquille. 18 13, the lead for Venice. Go right back to her. Salas Miller. Yeah, I would have gone right back. Well, the right. soft off speeder out. wins. Yeah. It worked out. I'm not sure exactly how Taft wasn't able to play that better than they did. Well, that's going to be tough for Taft. They're not playing poorly, but the execution level of the Venice Gondoliers is very high. Yeah, it was 14-13, and, and Venice has just cranked it up a notch. And this is danger time for Taft. And Rice serving so tough, utilizing the net. Here comes Shaquille. There goes the tip this time. And Dronjic will take the kill. Well-located kill, didn't have a lot of velocity on it, but the placement was nice. That was huge, because otherwise they're staring at a 20-13 deficit already down a set. But now Park, who has served quite well, she's got a tough lefty serve. Of course, the lefties have more movement. That one was nearly a basket. It went <laughs> off the iron. Does that the count? iron unkind for <laughs> does Park. That, <laughs> does that count for two, then? Nope, they're hoping to get one right here. With Rice <laughs> with the rolling dig, but it can't be saved by Wessels. And a point for Taft. Yeah, we have the bank boards elevated above the court. And that was nearly a shot that went into <laughs> the hoop. <laughs> and still, everything's in play. That's just the nature of the beast. And that certainly changes everything when it starts rattling around off the apparatus. The park serve is beautiful. Oh. And because of that serve, it's put away nicely yes. by Murray. Yes. Venice nearly made a spectacular dig to keep it alive. But they were in scramble mode and... and Amanda Park, who had a couple of hitting errors that seemed to bother her a little bit, has regained her confidence with that powerful lefty serve. Suddenly Taft has the momentum, and they get up on the block. Number 28, Murray doing a nice job. Ooh, I didn't like that choice. How about Shaquille and Park with the save? It's up into the roof, comes through the rafters, still going. Well, that one's dumped into the net. Half to within two. Here come the Toreadors. We're going to get a timeout from Alan Hunt. I don't think he liked the way the offense ran during that rally. He's going to get them back focused and ready as they've suddenly watched that six-point lead diminish to two. You know, I'm looking at the reaction of Armand Mercado, the coach of Taft. He only told me when I was talking to him before the match. He goes, you know, I hope we win it, but I hope it goes five because it's good for high school volleyball, and I just don't want it to end. Nice, nice. I'll tell you, that's uh, that's really somebody who appreciates the the. I don't know, the athleticism and the drama that this sport brings. And here you'll get another look at that ill-fated dump attempt by Fuyurama. And uh, I, as I say, you got to do that a couple of times a set just to keep the defense honest. But that particular time and, and uh, place, maybe uh, not the best choice. And I think that's why Coach Hunt called the timeout. But it was 19-13, and suddenly Taft has come roaring back. 
they have the right person back there serving because Amanda Parks, that hard float has been difficult for Venice to handle. Thanks. Parks' serve is exploding. Yeah, yeah, and she... It's not, it's not like it's got a ton of top spin or anything like that. It just comes at you with, with speed and movement. And accuracy. Indeed. Flynn Salas Miller. She's got it. Wow, that was a huge point, because otherwise Taft had crawled all the way back to 1919. But now Venice has the right person behind the service line if you're a gondolier fan. Carl Rose back in the sophomore. Number 16 in white. There's a service error. Oh, she's disgusted with herself. That's the first one in the match for Kristen. She had been hitting some lasers across. And uh, that's a break for Taft to get her off the service line with, with no points. And now here comes their ace. It's Samaya again. Ties the match I'll in this you. second set at 20 apiece. Her service accuracy has been phenomenal here in the match so far. Basically, single-handedly, she got Taft back into the first, and she got a chance to do it again here in the second. Well, she has a chance to help him win this set, but she hits that one into the net. That didn't miss by much. Kara Wessels will put it back in play. Taft battling through some adversity in the second set, trying to overcome a major deficit. Just had it tied at 20. They want to relax, even though they've come all the way back. Bosnick wanted the ball. She gets it. Rice somehow played it and got it over. And Murray and Akavon collide, and Rice gets the kill. What a play by 23. Oh, a great get by Rice. But Taft missed an opportunity there on the overpass. Another overpass. And it's put away by Sydney Silva Thomas. And Venice has reacted to Taft's rally. They have a, just a, very similarly to what we saw in the first. Venice, after it got back to 20-20, ran off the last five. They're in a position to do the exact same thing. Taft really needs a side out. Here's Park going for it. Shaquille not with a very good pass, but it's saved. Rice is everywhere. It's all over the court. Now, mishandling of the ball, double contact on Taft. We've come to set point for Venice. Indeed we have, and Taft has, has let this one get away once again. We're going to get a late substitution, try to ice the server a little bit. A little gamesmanship by Coach Mercado. Wessels for the set. First set point for the Gondos. Pushed through nicely. Akavon. Very nice decision. That was looking rather ominous for Taft. And Akavon with a really heady decision. Negan Akavon with the kill. Ashley to serve. Two sisters and a cousin. Three Akavons on the team. Ooh, handcuffed her. Oh, Venice, a rare breakdown. Taft to within two. So a couple set points wiped out by the Toreadors. The service got in Silva Thomas's kitchen there, and she tried to retreat enough to make a pass, but it was in on her too close. Another overpass. Joust at the net. Flynn Salas Miller closes it out, winning the joust. 25-22 for Venice. They're up two sets to love. Oh, that's a tough break for Taft because I thought after the overpass, Taft was in the better position to finish the point. But it's Venice who comes up big in both the first and the second, late in the sets, to go up 2-0. The champions are one set away from a repeat in Division II on Time Warner Cable.
enjoy hockey better with Time Warner Cable. When you have NHL Center Ice, every game is a home game. And now, for the lowest price in over five years, you can follow your favorite team and players all season long, no matter where you live. You'll get up to 40 out-of-market games a week, all for just four easy installments of $41.99. Upgrading is easy. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC or go to TWC.com for the ultimate hockey experience. NHL Center Ice, the game lives where you do. Available on Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. What can you get for $14.99? Three gallons of gas. Or freedom from your overpriced DSL service. Introducing Time Warner Cable's new everyday low price internet. All the speed you need at an affordable price. And if you act now, you get free installation of our everyday low price internet. It's Time Warner Cable's all new everyday low price internet. Now with free installation. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC before this free installation offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. That team, the Venice Gondoliers on the doorstep again, winning Division Two in the city section. They're up two sets. Hasn't been easy. 25-20 and 25-22 against a rugged team from Taft High School in Woodland Hills. It's the San Fernando Valley. But Paul Westfall, all the pressure is on the Toreadors. It truly is, and I'd have to think there was a sense of frustration for Taft because they have battled back in each of the first two sets to get back to 20-20, and then in the critical points, for whatever reason, they just haven't been able to muster whatever it took to win something that would get them the advantage. And what you need to do if you're Coach Mercado at this point is is get your young ladies to, to channel that frustration into positive energy because there isn't a lot of difference between these two teams. I mean, it's been, it's been a nail-biting first and second set, but Venice has made the points down the stretch in order to capture each of the first two. So for Taft, don't hang your head. You're, you're as good as Venice. You, you need to just play your game. And if you're Venice, uh, wow, uh, I would just keep doing what you're doing. And that basically is making sure that Kristen Shakel and Flynn Salas Miller are involved. Although I did think that Glorious Owens contributed mightily in that second as well. Well, when you have two teams that are this close, you need contributions from a lot of people. Sometimes it's the unsung player that comes through in the championship match. That one's down for Janjic. Just crawled all over the top of the tape and down. Yeah, there was a little bit of, a, of an opening, a little seam between the block, and she used power to get it through. If Taft could get off to a good start, and instead of, uh, you know, climbing back from behind, I think it would change the complexion of this. Well, Venice can't relax. Taft is too good. Remember, Taft is the top-ranked team of the division. And they have the knowledge knowing they beat this team earlier, but that one is straight down for Flynn Salas Miller. Easy pickings for Salas Miller that time. She saw what was happening. That overpass, she was all over that. The flying Flynn. And she can uh, throw him down pretty good. That is playing with tremendous confidence. Shaquille setting to Miller. Akabad with the save. Oh, wonderfully dug. And it was Shaquille that saved it and gets the kill. Number seven is electric, dynamic on the floor for Venice. What doesn't she do well? She has the complete game and the, and the volleyball IQ to go with it. Well, we know that Kristen also has that tough serve with a lot of movement. Park right down Main Street with the winner. Well, and that's good to see if you're a Taft fan because Amanda had a couple of, of swings in the second that got away from her a little bit, and, and she needs that for her confidence. It only takes one or two, and suddenly you're, you're feeling like every time you swing big at it, you're going to hit a winner. Well, Amanda Park, they're opposite the senior captain. She is their best all-around player, and she's got an ace. She has served tough the entire match. And here's an opportunity for Taft to actually get in front, get a little separation from Venice. That hasn't been the case throughout the match. She wants to play out of the state, maybe Washington or Oregon. Those are a couple of the schools that she's talked about attending. That one is tipped wide, another point for Taft. And Amanda Park is playing with a heavy heart. Her mom, Cindy, passed away July 31st from leukemia.
She was the team mom, and it's been a difficult year for Amanda. She's played through it and gotten great support from the whole coaching staff and teammates for Taft. Well, uh, our sympathies, of course, to Amanda and the family. Uh, volleyball is truly a family, and, and I know she's gotten the support necessary to get her through a really difficult time in her life. Well, this is uh, some hit by Janjic. 5-2, the Toreadors playing with uh, some resiliency here. They've been more efficient so far in this third set. Nice job by Janzik. Janzik to keep it alive. Shakel the Miller. <laughs> what a dig by Bosnick. She's playing in the backcourt. You think of her as a hitter. That's when that is down beautifully for Annie Fuyuama. Very consistent player. A necessary finish by the gondoliers to get Park off that service line. She was getting in a rhythm. Left armed, one arm <laughs> dig by Shaquille. Oh, what a reaction. The ball was practically past her. She's ambidextrous. There was a touch, point tapped. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I was going to say, yeah, the, the Venice went back to serve, and I think that's Taft's point. Uh-oh, trouble for Venice. Yeah, the Samaya serve, and like Shaquille on the other side, her serve is so tough to pass, and even Darren Rice struggled with that. Here comes Park out of the deep court. Silva Thomas got it back over. That's a point for Venice. One of the few times that Bosnick just didn't, she got up a little slowly, so by the time she got to it, the set was a little low. Venice trying to win this three straight with her second straight Division II CIF City title. Shaquille Dumps. Oh, surprised at that. There's not a dump. That's power on the cross court from Andrea Bosnick. Boy, yeah, she doesn't if... ever dump. She doesn't do anything softly. <laughs> I think if Shaquille had to do that all over again, she doesn't go over in two. It surprised no one. This game is it for the faint of heart. These players really sell out and hit it with great force. Randy wins serving. There's Gloria Owens, and again, she's at times really come through in this championship oh, yes. match for Venice. Oh, yes. They don't choose to set her too often, but she has come through time after time. Alvin Hunt will tell you that Gloria Owens is gifted offensively, and we see why. A free point and a side out for the Taft Toreadors. They're up 8-5. Alan Hunt thought he was going to loosen the tie there. He's pretty high strung coming in. I went up to Alan to say hi, and I've known him for a long time. He just glared at me and walked away. That's how much he's into the match. It had well, nothing to do with me. No, I was going to say, I, I can't really blame him there. No, he's just focused. He's <laughs> Shaquille, and oh, somehow it's done. Marvelous play by Akaban. How about the reflex actions of Gloria Owens? Park had it blocked back by Owens and Shaquille. Here Sha comes Shaquille. Yeah, she won't, she called for it. Four contacts on Venice. Point Taft. Yeah, Shaquille called for it. She got it. It just crawled along the tape and never cleared. Taft wants to prolong the match. Get it to four, maybe then five. After dropping the first two sets, Shaquille over the block and down. Point Venice. Got it off the high hands. She wanted it after the miss hit on the previous set. You could tell, and that's always a good idea. After one of your big hitters has a hitting error, get it right back to him so that they can forget about that miss. Ace for Silva Thomas. And again, in girls' volleyball, the serve can be such a deadly weapon. Oh. It can change any set, any match. Exactly right, and it, particularly, as we've mentioned, if you have a taller girl, by the time that thing clears the net, it's on its way down, and if it's got a little bit of knuckleball action, that's tough to handle.
That's tough to handle, too. Andrea Bosnick. Oh. I'm Boy, she's impressed. hitting BBs. Yeah, I was going to say, I am very impressed. She really attacks it. She'll be rotated out now, and here's an opportunity for Friera. Taft has been able to keep Venice at bay here in the third after getting out to that early lead. That serve is long. Venice closes to within two. Again, Venice, you can see all the smiles. There's little pressure on there. I'm a couple sets. But again, you can never relax. No, no. We've, we've seen so many volleyball matches, you and I, where a team is, is down 2-0. They'll come back and win. Park from the south side is Doug. Shaquille Tippy. That one doesn't clear for Bosnick. Point Venice. Taft was in pretty good position because the pass was too tight for Shaquille to, to set, so she just dumped it over with, with not a lot of, of purpose, and yet Taft unable to convert. That's an ace. And I think that, that was headed out. I was going to say it handcuffed Janjic, and I agree with you, Paul. I think it would have been an out ball. Yeah, she needed a little bit of help, and I think Coach Mercado was telling her that. But, you know, it's a split-second decision. You need a little help from your teammates there. Rice serves right back at her. And double contact on Taft. So Venice has the lead, and that pressure continues to build on the Toreadors. All right, I think if they get one more, I think Coach Mercado goes with a timeout as the momentum beginning to swing. The serve is long. Oh. oh, they're saying there was a touch. Not so. Coach Hunt saying it, it, it went off the side of... He was pointing toward his temple as if it went off the side of... of uh, I think it was... Janjic that was back there? Maybe not. It's 11 all. Nonetheless, point Taft, a debatable one. I thought it was out. But I think uh, Coach uh, Hunt was saying there was a touch. There's no replay at high school volleyball. <laughs> although we have replay for you on Time Warner. Parks got the corner. That was a beautiful touch yes. shot by Amanda Parks. It did, and it had just enough topspin to dive when it got to the sideline. And Taft responds after Venice had recaptured the lead. Shaquille's got another one. Unstoppable. Finds yeah. the sweet spot all the yeah. time. And she's so unselfish, and her role is to be an all-around player. But at times, I think they need to give her more chances to do that. Is a senior, and she's six-one, the tallest player for the Gondoliers. But she has great uh, fluid movement. Amanda Park, knowing this could be her last match. Amanda Park, the senior, coming through for Taft in this third set. Park will serve, and she's done that accurately so far in this one. And she's got another ace. Right at Rice. And if you can do that to Darren yes. Rice, you can do that to anybody. Exactly. Well put, because uh, Rice is as good a passer as I've seen. And Park, I tell you, that serve has some strange action on it as it comes over the net. Diving dig by Silva Thomas. That one's blocked down. Flynn Salas Miller. The flying Flynn again. A huge roof for the Gondos. They get the ball back, and they're within one. As a middle, you have to read the setter, and Salas Miller saw that one coming a mile away. Over the block and down for Janjic. And here we go again. This young lady has been the serving star for Taft. Samaya trying to stretch that lead a little bit. Rice able to pass it to Shaquille, who gives it to Cyrus Miller, and it's down. It's like a double play combination, right? Rice. <laughs> To Miller, to Shaquille, or Shaquille to Miller, it doesn't matter. And the look of satisfaction on Darren Rice's face when she made that successful serve receive was just classic. It's like, you've got me a few times, but it's my turn this time. Serve a shade long. Wow. 
That's so hard to do when you're getting in position to try to make some kind of serve receive, and at the last split second, you decide to back away. That's hard to do. Taft trying to fight off extinction. Down two sets of this championship match. Venice looking for a repeat title. Still in play. Rice bumps it back over. Akavon to set. That's down the line and in for Bosnick. Rifling another winner. Beautifully done by Bosnick. She hasn't really gone down the line that often in the match. So a good change of pace from Bosnick. Ball comes back to Venice. Down by two. Side out. Gano's. And he can't feel at all comfortable. you got to oh, be a little no, queasy if you're no. tough down by two sets. I, I can't even relax. And I, and I don't have any dog in this fight. Well, you're a nervous wreck to begin with, Paul Westfall. <laughs> I'm trying to calm you down all the time. <laughs> Venice looking to close to within one. They're there on the kill by Gloria Owens from the middle. Uh, beautifully set. Owens was was elevating before the, the set even occurred. That's that's impossible to stop. Venice has been the stronger, mentally tougher team at the end of each of the first two sets. Right. Taft has to overcome that. And there's a hitting error by Parker. We're tied at 17. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head. Each of the first two sets was 20-20, was although it took a Taft comeback in each of those first two to get there. It's been a different landscape where Taft has had the lead most of the third, but it's danger time for Taft. They need to put this down. That's in. Bosnick going cross-court right into the corner. She likes those corners. Yes, yes, she does, and... And she really does snap that wrist, gets a little topspin at the end, and, and the thing dies at the back line. And that was a huge point mentally for Taft to make sure they didn't surrender the lead. Kathleen Sales, an outside hitter at 5'8", has come in for Taft. That one's down. Quick attack in the middle. Glorious yep. Owens again. Yep, Venice, which had been running a slower attack most of the evening, suddenly going with the quick attack. That, that quick set for the middle, and right now, anyway, Taft looks a little, caught a little flat-footed by that. 18 is the draw. 25-20 and 25-22 for Venice in the first two sets. Boy, we got a good look at Gloria Owens. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm going to be paying attention to that young lady, just a sophomore, and she looks like she has a huge upside. Serve is long. Great communication. Janjic looking at it all the way, looked at all the way out. Now you can't make a mistake. Your decision now and those decision process has to be spot on. 19 serving 18. Shaquille oh. ties it at 19. <laughs> I would keep going that direction now because if we get to a situation where it's 23-23, that sort of score, the pressure is all going to be on tap, and it just makes hitting so much more difficult when you're down 2-0. Rice runs it down. Venice can't return it. Taft holding on here for dear life. There's 23. Her sister was another great player. That was A.B. Rice. She was all city in 2010. In fact, they played one year together on the Gondoliers team in the back row. Free ball for Taft. They need to put it down. Here comes Park. She's controlled. Venice looking for the draw. Flynn Salas Miller has the quarter. We're even at 20, which has been a very comfortable spot for the Gondos. <laughs> well said. And that was a terrific defensive play to get it started. The block by Salas Miller. And then they give it right back to her. And look who's serving. Park. Wow. That is such a big pass, set, kill. 
It gets Shaquille off the service line, and for the first time, it's Taft who takes the lead at when it's at 20-20. Is it going to be Park Place? Oh! The next move for the Taft Toridors for the like, Park. I like that. And she has been such an effective server. Out. Just out. That oh. was so close to the line. Oh! I mean, I... I Pretty good look at that. Wow, that is a tough one. You thought it was in. I did. 21 is the time. Venice needs four for the championship. Back row doesn't get it done that time for Venice. Just a case of of two players trying too hard. Well, you love the effort of Wessels. Yes, they both ran into each other. You can never be mad at that if you're a coach. And, oh, my. If Taft has anybody they'd want serving right now, it's that young lady. And she hit it out. Well, you're right. The West Ball jinx is... Uh, oh, my goodness. You're in, I'm, you're in I'm, season. I'm just going to stop. Three points for the title for the Gondoliers. Looking to repeat over Taft. Got the corner. Bosnick oh, oh, again, her oh, favorite location. She has been able to nail that corner time after time. That If Taft comes back in this match, that is a critical point. Because if they were down 23-22, they would be feeling awfully tight. The Kristen Murray serve. So the Thomas hit it long. Set point for Taft. Venice looking for a touch. There was none. Timeout gondoliers. Taft is feeling it now. Well, the Toyotas looking to make this at least a four-set match and put more of that pressure back on the champions from Venice. Well, we're at the crossroads for the Toreadors, and I like the fact from their perspective that they battled through this mentally, where they were at 20-20 in the last two games. They weren't the stronger team. They've been the stronger so far in set three. No, I completely agree, and that's, a, that's what comes from playing in tough matches. It makes you mentally tough. They had one on November 3rd where they beat Verdugo Hills 3-2, and it was 15-12 in the fifth. But Taft was down two sets to one and down 5-1 in the fifth, and those kind of outcomes make you mentally tough. And that young lady, Andrea Bosnick, has been the star hitter all evening long for Taft. She has come up with big swing after big swing. And that one in the deep corner, that might have been the one that gets Taft to at least a fourth set. Well, last year it went four. Venice one and four, 27-25 in the fourth for the title over Taft. The West Valley against the Western League, the two premier leagues in the city. Taft from the West Valley, Venice from the Western. For the set, it's dug by Rice for the moment. Run down by Wessels. Still in play. Free ball. Can Taft put it down and win the set? Here comes Bosnick. Another save. What a chicken wing dig by Wessels. Rice's shot is wide. The set to Taft. 25-22. Oh, my. We've got a match now. Taft responding with the heart of a champion comes back and extends this to a fourth. Would you expect anything less from these two? Well, Venice won the second set 25-22, but Taft, identical number on their side, 25-22. The Venice lead has been cut in half. The champs still need a set for the title, for the repeat, but Taft and Bosnick have come back on Time Water Cable. Want a Samsung Galaxy Note 8? Of course you do. Get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 when you upgrade to a qualifying Time Warner Cable package. And you can turn your Galaxy Tab into a TV with Time Warner Cable's preloaded free TV app. So you can watch TV when you want, wherever you want. But this tablet offer ends soon. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC for a variety of packages starting at $79.99 per month. 
But you better act fast before this tablet offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. What can you get for $14.99? Three gallons of gas. Or freedom from your overpriced DSL service. Introducing Time Warner Cable's new everyday low-price internet. All the speed you need at an affordable price. And if you act now, you get free installation of our everyday low-price internet. It's Time Warner Cable's all-new everyday low-price internet. Now with free installation. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC before this free installation offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. No surprise. We're heading into the fourth set for Taft and Venice. God delivers the champions up two sets to one, but we just saw a rally from the Taft Toreadors. They showed me something there after the first two sets kind of went south on them at 2020. They answered the challenge, made the plays when they had to, served tough down the stretch, and now I really believe it's anybody's match because you can see the, the confidence in the body language of the Toreadors that was maybe missing after the first two sets. Fans started to really get into it here at the Roy Ball Learning Center. Really a nice facility for championship volleyball. It oh, stages is, all yes. the four finals. This is a beautiful facility, and the fans have turned out in pretty good numbers, and they've been very vocal in support of their respective teams, and justifiably so. They have gotten their money's worth. Rice starts it with a tough serve. And a block from Flynn Salas Miller. Yeah, the pass was too tight. Uh, Coach Mercado demonstrating move your feet. That's that's easily half of passing. Service ace for Darren Rice. Good start for the Gondas. Bombing it off the block, but it's controlled nicely by Venice. Shaquel with power. So what else is new? She has another kill. Oh, I tell you. They don't, they don't abuse her ability to swing, but when she does, it, it's just lightning. She just abuses opponents. There's another ace <laughs> and, for Darren and the ball Rice. As well. A little bit of danger time for Taft. I think one more and you got to get a timeout, get your girls refocused. A quick four in the bank for the Gondos. Park again, she's got it. Amanda Park. That's, she's a jumping jack. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's probably the, the highest I've seen her jump as she really got on top of that one and stops the four-point run. Rice in the <laughs> back court. She gets to everything. Yeah, and she's a wonderful beach player. Played on the AAU circuit. That spike Tap, is in. Yes, it's rolled the to touch. touch. Exactly right. Tap. Saw Venice score the first four. Park and company have scored the last two. Great matches throughout the day at the Roy Ball Learning Center in the L.A. City section. These teams, the winners, go on to the state tournament, and they've been a little bit more competitive out of this section in recent years. Tough serve from Park. And that's why we call her the Flying Flynn, Flynn Salas Miller. <laughs> what a savvy decision. The block was in good position, but Salas Miller with the off-speed you know, Paul, we talk so much about Kristen Shaquille, but Flynn Salas Miller is the division yes. reigning player of the year, and she's all state? <laughs> exactly. And she has just been rock solid. Not up, not down. She's just been consistently good. That one's through the block and down for Janjic. Tori to her point. Trying to climb back into this fourth set. And back into serve. 
Samaya. You really like her. I'll tell you, what I like about her is that she's fearless. She, she goes for it every time. She knows that's what she does well. Ball control mistake, double contact on Venice, point taft. Exactly right. I think at some point when a server has success, you start, it starts getting into your head a little bit, and you lose a little, a little bit of focus there. And I think that's what's happening with Samaya serving. Overpass. Samaya able to run it down. Shaquille setting to Salas Miller. Oh, great reaction. That time by Wessels. Bostic. Too physical against Wessels. Well, the gondoliers were in scramble mode early in that rally, and they kept making great plays just to keep it alive, but eventually you knew that Taft was going to finish. They've caught Venice at five. They lead with the tough serve of Samaya. And with each successful serve, her body language, her confidence grows. You can just see she's putting it exactly where she wants to. Look at that. And another free one for the Toreadors. Bosna Rice with a magnificent <laughs> dig. I don't think there's a lot of players that can dig that at the high no, school level. No. Flynn Salas, Miller's roof. Murray, Kristen Murray with the roof. You're seeing fabulous volleyball today on Time Water Cable. You truly are, Kristen Murray. Strong at the net with a classic solo block. A Murray moment. 7-5 for Taft, and the serve is out. That's all right. You'll take, you're going to get one now and then. You'll take three, four consecutive points. That risk reward is is well taken. Well, the level of volleyball has really gotten better with each set. Not that it was bad early. It's just been ratcheted up. That spike is out. So Bosnick hit it long. We're even at seven. Now Murray went over to Akavan and said, set me, set me. Let's see if they do that the next opportunity they get. Tough serve, and yeah. Toreador's out of sync. Yeah. Yeah, it had late movement and really, really uh, handcuffed the libero. Bosnick got it. Nobody hits it harder than Andrea. <laughs> we, we truly have a couple of players that, that really bring the heat in in Shaquille and Bosnick and if you don't get that double block over there in good position they're going to hit it right through you you can get hurt trying to retrieve her shots <laughs> terrific fourth set 2-1 for Venice trying to win the title right here in this set Glenn Salas Miller hit the tape and went out. Yeah. That's a point for Taft. That's a tough break because if it doesn't go off the tape, it obviously stays in play, but sometimes the tape is good to you, and sometimes in this particular instance, it is not. And Flynn Salas Miller with another hitting there. Yeah, they're, they're saying there was a touch. Everybody in Venice is up in arms over that. But it's going to be a point for Taft. Yeah, there was no touch. I had a pretty good angle on that. I did not think it was touched. And you are correct, sir. Ace for Akavon. Oh, you saw the knuckleball action of that very late. Well, Armin Mercado's team is battling back, trying to send this to five. They have the lead here in set four. And they have a free ball to attack for Bosnick. It's Ruth Flynn Salas Miller with the obstruction. <laughs> 
The champions are, they're not just gonna let this slide away here in the fourth. Two evenly matched squads. Park right down the pipe. The gondoliers had done a pretty good job of anticipating that attack from the pipe most of this match, but they got nobody in position on that one. That was easy for Park. Give the kill to Fuyuama. Good location down the sideline. That's a that's kind of a risky swing, but but Annie came through. Park had uh, that one come back at her. Taft scrambling. Yep, Akavan and Bosnick colliding, but they still win the rally. A bit fortunate there, and Andino made the play. 13-10, Toriadors. And the suspense is building, the drama is building at the Roy Ball Learning Center. Are we going to go five? We saw that in the Division Three Championship, won by Eagle Rock over Verdugo Hills. Three sets to two. Another tough serve, no system there. Amanda Park driving it through the block. They're in a, a good position anytime Amanda is able to, to swing from that right pin. The lefty putting another one down. You know, I ask Alan Hunt, does he like coaching against Armand Mercado? He said no, because he's such a great coach. And even when you have him down, he somehow has the ability to turn his squad around. And they've done that. A beautiful tip by Amanda Park. I don't know if she's done that previously all match long, but that was really a high volleyball IQ play, and we're going to get a bit of timeout. The old dink for Amanda Park, the senior. Taft up by five, 15 to 10. If you joined us late, Venice in this championship match won the first two sets, 25-20 and 25-22. Taft responded 25-22 in set three. And as you can see on our TWC scoreboard, they're up five. And now they're up yelling on the Taft side, we will win, we shall see. They, they believe they will win, and Taft has really shown me something after losing a couple of heartbreaking sets, they have all come alive together. There has been a series of outstanding plays from a variety of different players. But if you're Venice, you're just looking for you're looking for a, a good serve receive here. Get in system, get a side out, and see if they can stem the tide. Because you don't want to go five. Stuff happens when you go five. Well, again, these teams are equal. So in a fifth set, it's it's jump ball. Taft just trying to get there. Shaquel off the tape. She's got it. That's a kill for Shaquel. Point for Venice. When the going gets tough, find your star. And there's your star right there, number seven. Well, they have the luxury of a couple stars. A couple stars, Flynn indeed. Flynn Salas-Miller and but Kristen Shaquel. It seems like Shaquel is the one who's got electricity in that arm. And a good serve, and they're within three. Silva Thomas with the ace. The last two to the gondoliers. One more, and I'm calling timeout. I'm thinking the same thing. And I'll bet you Armin Mercado's thinking about it. He doesn't want to see one more point. He wants his team to put one down. Critical serve. And it's wide. Well, the Torridors get the free pass. They get the point and the side out. That is huge. And a chance for Taft to regroup, refocus. And they'll do so with a win going back to serve. Well, Brandy will try to place it in the right spot. As a deep float serve. She's also on the swimming team at Taft. 
That one's blocked by Park. Still alive. Oh, bad pass, though. Yes. It's put away by Wessels. Yes, exactly right. One got away that time from Taft. They were in the dominant position in that rally, and the pass was just way too long. Tara Wessels with a big moment for her team to get the ball to Rice to serve, and she has a big-time potent serve. Park tipping it. Oh, great read by Bosnick. Park has another kill. She took something off that shot. She did, but if Bosnick doesn't anticipate that long push kind of shove to the deep corner, she came from clear on the other side of the court and was able to keep that in play. Gondo's out of system after the good serve. Janjic, too strong. It's down, despite the efforts of Rice. And Taft, building that lead back up to five. A terrific answer after the mini run from Venice got them back within a couple. Here comes Janjic, but there's a ball handling error on Taft. Ooh, that hurts the Toreadors. Yes, it does because Bosnick was in. Excuse, I, I think it was Bosnick that was in position to take a pretty aggressive swing at it. It was shelled behind the line. Kristen Shakel. This could be trouble. Taft needs to pass her, and they do. It was Park. Park will get it back. Rolling dig by Silva Thomas. The intensity very high here. And there's a roof for Salas Miller. The solo job by number 29. <laughs> she has reason to smile. The cream rising to the top there. That was a magnificent effort. Good anticipation. Excellent lateral movement from the middle. Park hit it out. Gondoliers are closing in. In this set, and again, if Venice rallies and wins the set, one more. They repeat. One more, and I'm calling timeout. You gotta ice this server. She's too tough. Akabon with a perfect pass. <laughs> Flynn Salas Miller had to come back. <laughs> Flynn Salas Miller's got it. And indeed, Venice is to within one. Indeed, and I think we're going to get a timeout. Armin Mercado heard you. Alan Hunt's team is coming back. They're within one, and they are playing well. They are indeed. They're using all of their weapons. Well, it, it looks like Taft is getting a little bit pin crazy as we take a look at Coach Hunt as he understands his team is is right back in this fourth with a chance to, to capture the championship. But I'd like to see Taft with a couple of quick sets for the middle as they've gone outside the majority of the time. If they're not setting for, for Park on the right pin, they're setting for uh, Bosnick on the left pin. I'd like to see Murray in the middle. She was calling for a, for a set earlier in this set, and, and it just it hasn't happened for her. I'd like to see them explore that, run a little three, and see if they can get her a quick set, because the defense is, is concentrating on the outside. Keep in mind, Venice beat Taft in four last year, and it was 27-25 in the fourth. Will history repeat again for the gondolier? They hope so. Taft wants to send it to five. Janjic had that one blocked back by Salas Miller. Bosnick, there's that friendly corner. Oh, she, she's got radar. She, her ability to hit that thing in an impossible angle that time. She finds the deep corner time after time. And Taft has their not-so-secret weapon back there serving again. Her power and her accuracy into the corner is something special. Wessels didn't hit that one cleanly. 
Bosnick does. Taft has 20. Wow. The timeout pays dividends for Coach Mercado. They answer the challenge. A chance for separation with Samaya serving again. Taft needs five to send it to five. They need four. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, for a young lady who is truly a serving specialist, she is having the match of her life. Time out, Venice. I think the city has got something special, these volleyball finals at Roy Ball. This has been quite a treat to be here today throughout these championships. Still the Division I final with Palisades and Granados. Ahead of us, Granada Hills and Pally are the two top seeds. <laughs> yeah, those are the first place teams from their respective leagues. Correct. This is the second place teams, and it's been wonderfully entertaining volleyball. It really has. And, you know, you're just thrilled that the kids, when they get to this level, perform at the high level. And we've seen that from all these top guns for Venice and Taft. And we saw it in our previous match where Verdugo Hills extended Eagle Rock to five in a thrilling finish. Eagle Rock prevailing in the fifth, and we've gotten the exact same kind of, of intensity and execution. Volleyball is alive and well in the city. These are some very good teams. And the committee, the city volleyball committee, they do a great job. These coaches are very committed to their programs. Another tough serve, but still in play. Rice able to save it to get it to Chappelle. Bosnick had it come back. Good reaction by Bosnick. Flynn Salas Miller tipping it. A great dive by Akavan. Park out of the deep court. <laughs> what a point. That might have been out. That was close. Park didn't take the chance. Oh, there's that quick set for the middle, but it was dug out. A left against half. Point Venice. That's a tough one. A great dig. I did not see who dug it out, but Murray got a clean swing at it. Otherwise, it's 22 serving 17. Rachel Logan into the deep court. She wears number 36 in the back row for Taft. Wessels, her team's down three. Bosnick, Wessels, digs her. Oh, oh, oh. That one's wide. Oh, not by much, but it was, it was indeed the right call. Tough shot to try to make it that point yeah. from Silva Thomas. And, but she nearly did. Nearly pulled off a, a miracle swing. Danger time now for Venice. Pretty good server back there. Genesis Andino into the front court. Into that front line. And an ace. Akavon. Well, what's that old slogan? Hit them where they ate. <laughs> That's a baseball slogan, but it applies in volleyball. And that one absolutely dove at the feet of the gondoliers back row. Taft, two points for making this a five-set affair for the title in D2. And they're in transition with Bosnick. Wessels oh, going low to get it. She has dug out so many. Bosnick again. Wessels retrieves. <laughs> Chappelle saves it. Rice takes it over. One more time. Let's try it again. Here comes Park. Great reaction from Chappelle. Bosnick on the overpass. Straight down. Set point for the Taft Toreadors. In fact, they'll have a bundle of them. Yes, they will. The Taft crowd going absolutely crazy. And the libero to serve, to send us to five. Akavon with a good serve right at Rice. Taft getting to everything lately. Bosnick has it. We're going five. Andrea Bosnick was tremendous in that set. 
And that team is excited. They have to settle down. But what did you expect? Venice the first two sets, Taft the next two. Clean the slate. It's one set to 15 for all the marbles on Time Warner Cable in D2. Want a Samsung Galaxy Note 8? Of course you do. Get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 when you upgrade to a qualifying Time Warner Cable package. And you can turn your Galaxy Tab into a TV with Time Warner Cable's preloaded free TV app. So you can watch TV when you want, wherever you want. But this tablet offer ends soon. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC for a variety of packages starting at $79.99 per month. But you better act fast before this tablet offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Do you think the surplus store is just for military gear? Think again, civilian. We got work clothes and boots. Everything camping to go off the grid. Over 10,000 items. Roger that. Listen up. Brand name jackets like Dickies and Carhartt. Pea coats. Good deal. Rainwear and winter boots. Hats and beanies. Thermal underwear. Good to go. No coupons here. Just everyday American value. My insurance company told me where I had the option to fix my car. California law says it's your right to choose. So I choose Sam's Auto Land in Gardena. They're an approved repair facility for Auto Club, Allstate, and Mercury. They also service other major insurance companies, too. Their state-of-the-art equipment from welding to laser alignment is all done in-house. Done by certified technicians. Voted Best Body Shop in the South Bay and Talk of the Town Customer Service Award. Store them in your cell phone for later. Minutes away in the South Bay, corner of Artesia and Western in Gardena. For the last 30 years, Hollywood Suits has strived to bring you the biggest selection and best quality suits at the best prices in the country. But now, they're not just a suit store anymore. They now carry a full selection of casual wear, like Levi's for $38, cargo shorts for $15, designer shirts for $20, and so much more. At Hollywood Suits, they offer the biggest selection in the country under one roof. They now have three locations to serve you, Hollywood, Torrance, and Orange County. Give them one visit, and they'll learn your business for life. Mathis Brothers is a great place to shop. Because there's so much variety here. I think it's everything we need. Everything we need. Wow, this, this is a great price. Gifts under 50. Under 25. Even under 5 bucks. They didn't just have old people stuff, they had stuff for kids too. What's my first place to come to shop? I'm loving it here. I think we can probably do all of our Christmas shopping here and stay away from the mall. We've saved so much I can get something for myself. I think a nice new leather recliner would be great. Mathis Brothers is a perfect place to shop for the holidays. Well, howdy, I'm Nick Worthington for Worthington Ford in Long Beach. And folks, it's a giant supermart with over 800 vehicles on the lot and every one is certified and under warranty and $95 down is all it takes. Take a look. Here's a Chevy Malibu, just $99.50. Here's a Ford Escape for $10.9. Here's a Nissan Altima for $11.9. And a Ford Fusion for $11.9. It's giant Worthington Ford in Long Beach. We'll see you here. Pussy cow, pussy cow, pussy cow. Want a Samsung Galaxy Note 8? Of course you do. Get a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 when you upgrade to a qualifying Time Warner Cable package. And you can turn your Galaxy Tab into a TV with Time Warner Cable's preloaded free TV app. So you can watch TV when you want, wherever you want. But this tablet offer ends soon. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC for a variety of packages starting at $79.99 per month. But you better act fast before this tablet offer ends. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Take another look at it and see if we can determine if it was in or out. Now it was ruled good. We, of course, have the benefit of replay. But as you can see, it looks clearly into me. It's the right call. There's an ace the other way for Chappelle. She took something off that. And yes. that's a huge ace for Venice. That's a tough one to pass if you can successfully execute that short float.
Park off the net and down. 4-2 Taft. And they got Shaquel off the service line with only one point surrendered. And guess who? Soraya Samaya. Serving it right at Rice. Bosnick, Rice oh, got underneath it. Wonderfully dug. Chappelle went in two, didn't bother Taft. Well played. Vital rally. Here comes Park. She's got it. 5-2 for the Toreadors. Her Amanda Park, oh. she loves coming out of the backcourt. Her energy level is remarkable. She was all over the court on that point and still had the ability to elevate and finish. These Torador teammates want to win this for Park because she lost her mom. That's been something they've talked about all year long. Winning the title for mom, Cindy, who passed away in July. And Amanda Park and company lead 6-2. I'll tell you, it's danger time for Venice. Again, Venice needs to put this down. That's on the line. That is huge. Coach Ricardo palms up, wondering why did we not play that? That wasn't really borderline, that was clearly in. But that was a must point. Otherwise, Venice is looking at a five point deficit. Bosnick missed it, and Venice closes to within two. And the Gondolier fans come to their feet, exhorting their team on. And that's the type of play that can get your momentum going, get your adrenaline flowing for the Gondoliers. Bosnick again. She's got this one blasted it off the block. The lead is three. We're going to 15 for the title. Venice looking to repeat. Taft wanting so desperately to win the title. One more for Taft, and I'd have to think Coach Hunt will want a timeout. It's beginning to slip away. It hasn't slipped away, but a four-point deficit halfway through this fifth would be tough. Ashley Akavon with the serve. Flynn Salas Miller is dug. Logan went down and got it. That block is wide. Point taft. Torino's in good shape in this final set. Dave, there's your timeout. Taft continuing to go to Bosnick, who has been magnificent throughout the match. Again, here's one of those occasions where sets three and four do carry over to five. We're seeing that Taft momentum. Didn't know if we would see it in this fifth set, but we are. Well, and they've been serving very tough. They got off to a really good start when Park was serving. And for whatever reason, the Venice power game has seemingly been muted by Taft. They haven't had that many blocks, but the passing and the setting hasn't been as efficient for Venice. They were just murdering the volleyball in the first couple of sets. Most of their winning kills were power kills, and it just seems to have it, it's evaporated. Let's see if Venice can recapture the magic because they're running out of time. Yeah, and this is a rematch of last year when Venice won in four for Allen Hunt. Arba Mercado's Taft team trying to get the title they thought they should have won a year ago. Armin Mercado said we waited 365 days for another opportunity. They're trying to win the title. Flynn Salas Miller from the middle. Akavan with the up. Bosnick! Heavy heat for Bosnick. 9-4 Toreadors. But it all started with a wonderful dig from Akavan. She made a great dig that resulted in an easy set. Dig to kill, that's the secret. Yeah, and Venice needs to put a ball down. 
Why not? Park. She got a touch. It's 10-4. Yep, it was off the touch, clearly. And the combination of yes. Bosnick and yes. Park is yes. taking over. They are. and But the defense has been magnificent here in the third, fourth, and fifth. They're getting to everything. Oh. It's pushed down and another point for Taft. Akavon jumping for joy. Wow. 11 to 4. And Dino, I thought that was a questionable choice, but it worked out. Timeout Venice. They're up against it now. And that bench for Taft sensing the improbable from two sets down. Now they're within four of the city crown. And sometimes when when you're playing well, things just just go your way. They had a serve that went off the tape and crawled over. Then you had Andino going over when I thought it would have been a better choice to, to get into system, but the ball found the floor, so that's the right play. You know, at this point, we should reference the seeding committee in the city's action. All four divisions, one and two, make it to the final. Here you had the number two seeded champions winning the first two sets and top ranked Taft storming back. I'll tell you the volleyball seeding committee got it right. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's it. these have been spectacular matches today. And everybody involved should, should get a pat on the back. The hospitality here at the Royal Learning Center has been excellent. Let's see if Venice has an answer. Oh, that'll help. Akavon serve as long. The gondoliers have all the pressure on them. They send Flynn Salas Miller back to serve. Need some tough serving from Salas Miller here. Bosnick wants it. She's got it. She's got the kill. She's unstoppable. She makes the serve receive. She calls for the set and then gets the kill. You can't do any more than that. The Bosnian bomber has a cascade coming down in this arena of MVP from the Taft student body that's here. We haven't seen Glorious go for it in a while, and right. they finally find Glorious Owens in the middle. Exactly right. They're still alive. Just take it one point at a time. You cannot make six points with one swing. Park blocked by that front wall of Venice. There you go. The middle again is good. Yes. Glorious Owens, two in a row. Exactly right. I didn't know if they'd go back to her because the pass was a little tight. And give Alan Hunt a lot of credit here. He's going away from his stars. He's going to Glorious Owens, who's a very talented offensive player. But it's not Salas Miller. It's not Shaquille. It's Owens. Yes, and, and that's the, the mark of a good coach. You understand where your, where your hot hitters are. Also good choices by the setter. Here comes Shaquille. Akavon runs it down. Park's turn. She's got it off the block and down. Owens was there, couldn't redirect, and it's point Taft. Park just with, with more force was able to tool it off the block. Torianor's two Ooh. points from the championship. Good pass. Chappelle rifles a winner. All started with a terrific pass from Rice. Boy, that got to the other side in a hurry. Venice needs a run. Oh, oh my gosh, the pressure. Fiona Durer is in. Fiona's a senior. She has a very good serve, but this is pressure. Match point, championship point for the Taft Toreadors. Oh, the emotion on the face of Amanda Park. They can feel it. Brandy Wynn will serve for the title. First match point, championship point.
Oh, this will be tough. And hit that basket. But Glorious Owens, the turnaround spike winner, keeps him in it. The champions are still alive. If they come back and win this, that is a miraculous point. It got tied up in the basketball apparatus, and Owens was still able to finish. The no. serve is out. Taft wins the championship. The Toyadors storm back, winning the final three sets, 15 to 9. Bosnick and Park were terrific for the winners, and Taft is your new champion in Division II. A wonderful match where it's always sad that someone has to be. There's no losers tonight, but somebody has to finish as the runner-up. Venice, the defending champs, played magnificently, but Taft somehow found a way to crawl back into it. And they win in five. Armin Mercado wanted it to go five. It went five. His Toreadors are the champions of D2. For Paul Westfall, I'm Randy Rosalem. Congratulations.